All right. This here is my CNC coffee table. It's the prototype what's gonna become my CNC plasma table. If you don't know what that is, imagine that you have a tool holder and that sits in a rail so it can move left and right. And that rail sits on two other rails so it can move back and forth. If you control that motion with the computer, then you can basically move your tool around in whatever 2D shapes you want. Except instead of having a pen, you have a plasma torch and that can cut through inch thick steel plate. Cool, right? <laughs> now I'm gonna shut this up and tell you a bit more about this setup here. Now, CNC plasmas are not a new technology and there's plenty of DIY builds out on YouTube already. But a lot of those do a pretty crappy job of documenting what's actually going on and they also use closed source software. Now that bothers me because I'm a software guy, which means I'm big in documentation and I also have an inordinate obsession with putting Linux on everything I touch. So this right here is powered by Linux, specifically Linux CNC. So what makes Linux CNC so cool? First off, it's free. You don't pay anyone anything for it. You just go online, you download it, you install it, and then you have it. Uh, there's no limits, uh, you know, no seats, no clouds, none of that bullshit, it's just free. And it's yours and everything you do with it is also yours. Um, that is a major, major plus. Secondly, it's free. As in like freedom, as in like fuck yeah America kind of free. Because it's open source software. So if it doesn't do what you want, and you can code, you can make it do what you want. Now, I understand the whole if you can code thing is kind of a big if, but there's another aspect to that, which is that you're not tied into vendor lock. Once you've built your machine, if there's any like, add-ons you wanna make for it, you can. It'll take some work, but you can do it. And that's very different from being limited to the amount of uh, you know, add-ons and options that your vendor provides, and if they don't make it, you're SOL. Well. You know, it's a major uh, step ahead of that. Now, as far as the technical savvy it takes to run this kind of stuff, it does take some tech knowledge simply because it's CNC. I wouldn't think it takes any more than like Mock or any of the other, you know, CAD CAM software out there. Um, Linux is far, far easier to run nowadays than it was when I got started on it like a decade ago. Like I even have my parents running Linux back at home. It's, it's far more easy than you'd expect. And from my initial impressions, I would say if you can run a 3D printer and you can install Ubuntu, then you are amply qualified to run Linux CNC. You know, you'll figure it out. I'm hoping with these videos, it'll make it even easier for you to do. My table is gonna be about three by four feet. Uh, actually not that much bigger than the coffee table here. But if you wanted to, you could make yours like 30 by 40 feet with like five independent gantries and five independent plasmas all zipping around at the same time. Now, why would you do that? Well, because that's what you get when you combine testosterone and Linux. <laughs> but the important thing is that you can do that, right? You can do whatever you want. Now, as I said, my goals here are far more modest. Uh, I simply want to get a table up and running for about a grand. And that's the cost of the table itself, not counting the plasma. The plasma will run you another like one to 3,000, depending on how fancy you go. Um, but if I can get it up and running with like a 16th of an inch in accuracy, that'd be cool. Uh, a 30 second, and that would be fantastic. Cause you know, I'm a software guy, not a machinist, uh, and really I'm a hack welder at best. So, uh, you know, start with modest goals and eventually build it from there. You know, maybe one day add a, an engraver or a tube cutter or whatever, but for now, start simple. So far, I have all this wired up and I think I have to just it down. Uh, Linux CNC is actually running on the desktop here and I'm just using the laptop as a monitor and keyboard. But with that, I can get the motors turning in such a way that if they were on a plasma table, they'd be tracing out and cutting the Linux CNC logo. Now the electronics here, plus two of the motors I don't have on screen, cost I think about 300 bucks, and I've got another $300 or so in other hardware with the Z-axis, rollers, um, belts, etc. So <laughs> it's not nearly done yet, but it is coming along. Now, I am a software developer, but I don't work for the Linux CNC project, at least not yet. I'm kind of hoping though that these videos of mine will be taken kind of as my contribution to the project as a whole. And in addition to these, I'll have some written documentation that I'll put together on a little website. And when that is up and running, uh, the link will be below. You know, I really do think that open source software is cool stuff and something worth supporting. 
Like, I know I won't be making shit for money off these videos, but if they help somebody out, then, you know, they're worth it. 